You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I'm trying to pretend it's still summer, even though it's fall. <laughs> I don't have the jacket and the tie on, and I'm glad my next guest, Paul Engel, our library director, wasn't all dressed up too. Good to see you, Paul. <laughs> Good to see you, Mark. Um, I'm great. Good things going on at the library always. Um, end of October, heading into November. Um, just had a very successful um, immigration, immigration dialogue series yeah. with Dr. Joseph Policarp, who is my fellow trustee, mm -hmm. pastor of one of the Haitian churches in Brockton. It was a phenomenal presentation. I, w w people are going to get to see it on cable if yep. they missed it. Yeah, it was. Uh, Joseph, I, I've heard his story before, and every time I hear it, it's, it's just inspiring. It really is. And, uh, you know, Joseph is also a poet and an, and an author. Yeah. Very creative I individual. learned that. I didn't know all of that. Yeah. I, I know him, but not as well as I thought. And um, <laughs> I, thought, I thought how we broke it up into different scenes and yep. things like that. Well, I don't want to spoil it. <laughs> okay, it's part of the, the series that's sponsored by Easton Bank. That's you right. You and Melise got a nice grant. Mm -hmm. to do that, and uh, we thank Eastern Bank for that. They're a good community yes. partner. Yes, they are. Um, the, the next one that's coming up is the end of November, correct? Right, right. The we can go backwards. I'll okay, say. let's go backwards. Well, maybe we'll do it in Hebrew. I don't know, <laughs> Hebrew, whatever. I'll just follow your lead on that one. Yeah, <laughs> so November 28th, which is after Thanksgiving, right. is Barbara Lewis, and Barbara Lewis is who? A professor, I believe, at UMass Boston System, and she was just here also speaking Right. on birth of the nation and, mm -hmm. and the, and the uh, reaction to that. So uh, I missed that. I was out of town, but um, I'm really looking forward to meeting Dr. Lewis. Um, I'm really looking forward to hearing her speak. I've heard nothing but great things about her previous presentation, and uh, I think she's going to bring a lot to the table for this well, you series. and me both, I missed that one too. Right now it's elections, and mm -hmm. we've got uh, high school tournaments going on, and candidates' nights, and you name it, we got it. And uh, it won't stabilize till like after Thanksgiving. So right. and now the is, library is heating up too. So we have all sorts yeah, of things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we were doing a candidate. Jay was doing a candidate tonight. I was doing the <laughs> library, and we had a soccer game all in the same night. It was crazy. <laughs> um, going backwards again, everyone. <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> except for me. Everyone except for me has a voice. No, you that's have the a name voice the, too, Mark. That's the name of the poetry series. And on November eighteenth, that's right. There's another poet. That's right. Um, you have her name written down. So I have, have Laura Brown Lavoie. Laura right? Brown Lavoie. She's okay. a Providence-based poet. She's what they call an urban poet. So uh, uh, I'm, I've read some of her works online, and I'm really looking forward to hearing her speak. And uh, one of our uh, hosts for that is actually Dr. Joseph Pollockate. So he's going to be oh. there as well. And he, he, he's reading his poetry in that. We're, it's open to anybody who wants to read poetry. Okay. Uh, we had a great crowd last time. We had a great poet. And really, again, I'm just looking forward to the next. Well, where else would you do poetry but the library? That's I mean, right. You can do it in all sorts of other venues, but it makes sense. Yeah. There, there are books, there's poetry there. That's right. Now, sticking with the theme, there was a whole um, kind of series that already happened, The Poet versus the Rapper, and the mm. final event with that is coming up when? November 4th. Okay. So that's an event where we've had several... Um, several tryouts, if you will, and we've really pushed this towards the high school students to, uh, to show up and, and basically um, um, compete in a, in a kind of a, a rap competition, if you will, or a poet competition. Mm -hmm. um, and so we're having the finals on the 4th. We have some judges. There's some prizes going to be given out. Mm -hmm. And um, I, again, I'm, 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 I'm hopeful that I can be around to see it. I, I've missed most of the, uh, the, pre the uh, preliminaries, but... Um, on the fourth in the afternoons, it's a Saturday. You can come on down and see see the see these kids perform. Yeah, Saturday. Saturday's a busy day at the library. If you go down mm -hmm. there, there's all sorts of things going on at the library. We have a problem. We don't have a lot of parking anymore. <laughs> the lot is full, the side lot is That's full, right. and then that kind of sorta of semi occupied former banana company across the street. Yeah, that gets full. There are spaces there. You can walk from into White mm -hmm. down to White Avenue to the library if you're strapped for parking. And then on the weekend, I'm not sure whether the parking meters are enforced or not. The parking meters are, are the, not. During the week, they are. Yeah. Okay. Um, Backtracking from that, Halloween's just around the corner. It okay? is. And you have a, what's it called? It's a uniquely uh, titled event. 
Um, you're prompting me, and I don't have anything in front of me. Um, oh, okay. It was like a spooktacular. <laughs> spooktacular. Or like yes, that. thank you, Mark. I think it's I a Halloween it. spooktacular, and we have the Toe Jam Puppet Band coming down to play for us. Okay. And then we are going to have a Halloween parade for the kids throughout the entire library. We're going to have stations. We're going to be in costumes. We're going to be handing out candy. So it's a. It's going to be a. It's a big building, 47,000 square feet. There's going to be lots of stations for the kids. It's going to be a great, safe place for, for, for your young ones to, uh, to trick-or-treat in. So if you don't want to go out, and who knows what the weather's That's going right. to be like, uh, the way it's been this week, uh, it, could be, uh, it could be nice. It could be frogs. It could be fall or it could be winter. That's we right. have no idea what it's going to be. Right. Um, and, you know, trick-or-treating hours in Brockton, from what I understand, are 4 to 7. This says, uh, you know, 6.30. Mm -hmm. on there. So um, you have the, 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 the Toe Jam Puppet Band, I love that name, yep. 6 o'clock, followed by the Trick or Treat Parade. So that'll be fun. They'll have, uh, is the staff into that? Are they getting dressed yes, up Yes, the staff are going to dress up. Um, we're encouraging creative, creativity and uh, who knows, maybe even I'll dress up. Okay. Um, <laughs> The only scarier thing than Halloween is the election, so that's on November that's 7th. On November. So. <laughs> Maybe they'll dress up. I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? All I know is uh, that night, um, you know, we're heading into tournaments. We're hoping that our, my staff can be off and, mm -hmm. and actually deal with Halloween, at least the ones that have kids. So um, I know that there's always something new you're talking about, and I hope this comes to fruition, Possibly opening up the library other nights, other than not not for library services, right. but for events. I think yeah, I think what we're learning is is based on the, the the last immigration dialogue series that we had, we can kind of fit about a hundred people into that lobby. So if we do events on nights when we're closed as a library, we can perhaps fit more people in. Mm -hmm. And I think there's really a buzz being created around some of these events, and I think we're going to need to do that. And um, I know the New York Public Library, for example, they, they often in their branches and their other, like the Fine Arts Library, will run events on nights that they're closed as well. So it's, 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 it's being done already, and I think it's a great thing for Brockton. Well, we have a new director. Mm -hmm. We have new custodians, two new That's custodians. Right. We have people that have been with the library that have switched into different positions in, in adult services and reference and in and, and, uh, children's. So we're looking to do more, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, we're looking to do more, not necessarily with more. That's hence the grants and stuff yes. like that. And I'm sure if businesses came to you and said, look, we want to get involved in the library, we want to sponsor something, we would gladly take their check. Absolutely, okay? absolutely. With, with gratitude, we would, yes. And we would give them credit for it mm -hmm. because that's how it works. If you look in a lot of other communities, libraries are very proudly sponsored by different area businesses. Yep. You know, we have good relationships with the Chamber of Commerce. You go to their events. Yeah. Uh, there are different organizations in Brockton that do different things. And we're hoping, I, I don't want to announce it yet, it, we're trying to do a documentary film screening on mm -hmm. a certain day. It didn't happen, but I still am in talks with the, the Bridgewater State uh, group and maybe team up with us, the Library mm -hmm. and the Cape Verdean Association, to yeah. do it over there. Because I think it's a good venue to see films and movies mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And uh, I don't know, Paul, maybe we'll finally get the money and we'll build the stage on the back of the library <laughs> that I always wanted to have there. I know, okay. I, I, you and I are in accord on that one. I think it'd be great to have a stage. Website, phone number, just so people can... Uh, www.brocktonpubliclibrary.org, 508-580-7890, extension 101 is me, and the, the number, call me anytime. Okay, there you go. Thanks for coming on. Thanks, Appreciate Mark. it. Thanks for doing all the library. Good stuff. <laughs> You're watching Greater Brockton, Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.